I'm replacing the carpet in my 56 Thunderbird today. I've already removed the seat and I put this sound deadening mat down, which will help eliminate some of the road noise and it also offers a little bit of heat protection. I'm going to show you the installation of that first. I've got my carpet laying out in the sun so it can get warmed up and be more pliable when I get ready to put it in. The carpet I'm using is this Auto Custom Carpets, ACC. It's a good quality product. This stuff here comes in a little sheets like this. I bought a box of 36 square feet and basically it's just a rubberized, sticky backed um, matting. This is 80 thousandths thick. They also make it in 50 thousandths. The thicker it is, the more soundproofing it's gonna give. So let me fast forward through the installation of this stuff. It goes down real easy. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You start wherever you want. I started up here on the driver's side, came to the back, and then I moved over there, started up to the front, came to the back, then I kind of patched in the gaps along the top of the transmission tunnel. These are the main tools you're gonna need, a little roller to roll it down flat, razor knife to cut it, or a pair of scissors work good too. I use scissors as well. And this here tools helps you, you know, push it in certain areas, works good. And one thing you're gonna to wanna to do anywhere, you've got a hole that you need to access, like that's for the seat right there. Had all these holes here for these screws. Um, got a couple holes back here for seat belt mounts. There's a hole for the rear mount of the seat. As you roll this stuff out, you come to a place where you're gonna have a hole. Be sure and punch a hole right then as you're rolling it across, because you'll know where it is and where to punch it. If you wait till you get all this covered, then go back and try and find your holes. It's gonna be more difficult. This passenger side should go a little quicker because I don't have as much stuff in the way. I don't have a steering column here, brake pedal, gas pedal, uh, dimmer switch, all that stuff. Plus I don't have any electrical wires running along here. So I should be able to get this side down a little easier, a little quicker. Welcome to the end now. I've got a few little 
areas that didn't get covered just because my sheets weren't far enough to wrap up over there, a little bit in here. So what I'll do now is I'll take some of these scraps that I had left over, these pieces, and I've also got a couple of full sheets left there. And I'll cut and trim and fit all these open areas. Since I have some of that sound deadening mat left over, I decided I'd go ahead and put it in the trunk area here too. And there it is. I wasn't able to cover the trunk 100%, not every square inch, but I used up all the spare pieces I had. So that'll give it a good solid feel to it. This carpet has a hole for the shifter and a hole for the dimmer switch. So that's pretty much gonna locate it. After that, it'll just be a matter of spreading it out and tucking it in here and there. Okay, that's laying down pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is get a little steamer, put a little steam on here, try to relax this carpet, get some of these wrinkles out, get it to lay down nice and flat. This is a little steamer I got from Sharper Image and should help take some of these wrinkles out. Just gotta Run it over it. If you don't have access to a steamer, you can probably maybe just take a little spray ball of water and a heat gun or a hair dryer and kind of accomplish the same thing. Okay, this rubber mat here, or leather, or whatever it is, kind of bulged up there. So I'm gonna see if I can take my heat gun and put a little heat on it. See if I can't get that to lay down a little better. Okay, I've got this heavy chunk of steel here. I'm gonna lay right here. Let that lay right there for a while. See if it won't, uh, as it cools down, keep that shape nice and flat through here. What I'm gonna do now, in order to keep this side of the carpet pushed up against the edge, I'm gonna take some contact cement. This is just Wellwood uh, contact cement like you might use on Formica countertops or something. It works really good. I'm gonna just put about a inch wide swipe right along this outer edge. Put that on the carpet too.
Okay, let that set for about 15 minutes or so until it gets good and tacky. And then I can put that right in place and it won't go anywhere. Then I'll probably come along here, all along this uh, door sill area, do the same thing all the way back. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna see if I can pull this over here and get it stuck down real good. See what I'm doing? I'm holding tight on this side over here up against the transmission tunnel and I'm kind of stretching it across to glue it in place. Okay, ready to stick this down now. Ready to put the seat in. Carpet's all installed. I think it turned out pretty nice. Got my seat belts back in. And that's gonna conclude this video. If you'd like to see some of my other projects, I'm always working on something. Please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.